Hello, my name is Jennifer Bauer and I work for two NHS trusts, Derbyshire Community Health Services and Derby Mental Health Foundation Trust. Both have lots of job opportunities available both in Derby and across the whole of Derbyshire. If we want to apply for a job in the NHS, we need to go to the website NHS Jobs and there we can search for the type of job we want and also the area that we want to be based in. We're now going to look at some tips and ideas on how to complete your application form so that you're successful in getting an interview. So here we can see I've searched for administration around Derby and this job has come up, receptionist team administration support based in Derby. If I click on the job, it gives me a brief outline of what the job is in, involves and a little bit about our trust. But here on the right hand side, we have a job description which tells us the duties and role and also a person specification. The person specification is a key document when applying for any job. And if we just open this person specification, you will see that it lists a number of qualities, requirements that are needed for the job. It tells you how each of those requirements are going to be tested, whether it's at interview, through the application form or through a test. But it also has these two key terms, essential and desirable. If a job requirement is essential, it means that you have to have that on day one when you start in a new job. You cannot start the job or be accepted onto the job without being able to satisfy those essential criteria. Desirable criteria are things that you might already possess but if you don't it's not so much a concern because these are things that can be learned once you're actually on the job. So why is this important when we're filling an application form in? If when the selection panel read your application form they are not able to put a tick next to every box that has essential next to it then they cannot invite you for interview. Your application will then be closed. So for this job, it's the ticks are, it's saying that they need either the ECDL, that's the European Driving Licence uh, IT qualification, the CLAIT IT qualification, or if there isn't a qualification, ability to demonstrate experience of IT. And they're saying that this is essential. So when you're filling your application form in, you need to think carefully about, can you fulfill that uh, criteria by showing that you already possess one of these qualifications? Or is there another way? So you might say that you have a lot of experience of using a keyboard and working on a computer. That might be through uh, completing work for school, um, writing essays or doing maths homework, for example, using spreadsheets. That would all be something that helps you to demonstrate that you have got some IT experience. Again, um, here we have a good standing of standard of spelling and grammatical accuracy. So this, you need to be very careful when completing your application form, that your spelling and grammar are very correct and accurate because the selection panel will pick up on that. But you also may mention, again, some of the work you've done at school. For example, if you've got an English language qualification. Um, ability to work as part of a team is essential. Maybe you've been part of a group, um, you might have been in the scouts or the guides or you might have been part of a sports team. You could talk about that and draw out those team skills that you've been able to use in order to demonstrate this essential criteria. This then is key that on your application form you ensure that you are able to go through each of these criteria marked essential and put a tick next to them once you've completed your application form. So it's really good idea to put your application form together and then read it through checking against each of these essential criteria whether you've covered that point or not because as I say 
if it isn't covered and the selection panel cannot see evidence of those essential criteria, then you will not be selected for interview. So I hope that that is helpful in giving you some tips on how to use the person specification to successfully complete an application form for a job within the NHS. And we really look forward to receiving some applications from you.